<laughs> so we just got to the bus. We are too early. We're the first set of guys. The car isn't full yet. And then we got our weights. <laughs> so yeah, this is where are we this is um this is Ojota. This is Ojota where we're in the bus going to Oshoko. slept for like the whole day um i really want to make like a really nice like story time in this vlog but you see this lighting i don't really i'm, I'm not sure i don't think you guys will accept this lighting for my video anyway we got an earlier today then we went straight from where the okay we, we came in a car see just we ended up using a car instead of a bus here to come to Washington state from where see i almost died of pain. in fact i'm gonna let me set up this camera i'll tell you guys story <laughs> all right guys so i just searched this entire room i tried to like mount things on top of each other but i cannot find anywhere to set up this camera so this one i woke up i slept by 3 a.m woke up by 4 10 got ready and we um so I came with our uber to pick me up and went to the park got to the park by 6 10 or was it 6 12 I can't remember, we got to the back by six something. Then we end up waiting for about an hour plus. We're still here for an hour, baby. We've been sure. here for a, for a minute. <laughs> so we're still here, we're still the ones <laughs> on our, uh, in our bus. I was not getting food. <laughs> hey, I'm still waking up today. by four o'clock today. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. It's but we start waiting, 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 waiting. Wait. We're not to the area now, we cannot wait again. So will you get us a taxi? This guy goes and he asks somebody, he asks his friend for how much tax is going to be. This guy comes back with his full chest and tells us it's 25,000. <laughs> My budget for the whole trip. That's, what, that's how much tax it took. I said, ah, don't worry. It's looking like we're going to walk. We don't need the car. No, for what? So, anyway, we finally like decide to leave and go to the other park which is one mini park away from where this park is so it's like one park second park third park so we go from this park to this park so we get there and then we thought that okay when we get to this new park it's going to be much better because um i mean people were leaving our park and went to that park so we thought okay so there must be a reason why we get there and wait another one hour we now finally start moving we left lagos by nine 49 so i'm in the car here i'm sleeping i wake up and i'm just there ah oh, shit i'm pressed like i just i just felt so much pressure on my tummy i was like oh my god at first i was like wait what's going on then i realized i was pressed now you know when you're pressed but then you have to like talk to your mind like you know what don't think about this think about something else count sheep do this to the farm i tried i was just like <laughs> i'm gonna piss on my body today man i was just like oh my god why and i knew that i wasn't impressed because first of all i bought coffee second of all i bought pepsi but i didn't even drink pepsi so it was coffee and that was the first time i took that money so farm then we now finally got to the stop here yeah? and there was nowhere for me to pee and i said i want to the bike guy please i want to wee wee <laughs> he now said ah that will wait though that there's nowhere to be here yet <laughs> I said, this man doesn't really understand how this thing is doing. Is that I'm going to piss on your bike. I'm going to have to piss on this bike. So can I go to the Oshun, Oshobo Sacred Groove? Hmm. As we got there, I said, do so. I know if you hold this piece again, I will die. I'm going to die if I don't leave it now. So we went to one bush. You guys, when I said we had... First of all, I forgot to tell you guys. So when we got there, first thing I saw, monkeys. Hey, if you know me, you know I don't like animals. Like I'm, I'm not an animal person at all. I didn't even care. I was just like, so I need to be now. Like I cannot hold this shit again. Me and the son now went inside the bush like this. Hey, when I went there, I wasn't even thinking. So I wasn't even thinking. I wasn't feeling that I should climb. I just wanted to pee and get this pee out of me because it was starting to hurt me like a lot. So. We finally pee and then we come and start the journey of the whole place. Then 
the woman guides us to the river. Now, this is where it gets freaky. So we get to the river. I've never seen this before in my life. Imagine. They believe on that they cook. Hey, I know about all those uh, ones. <laughs> but medically, they are Sorry, thank you. There's nothing like a medical. Yes, there's nothing like that. Like that. And then she's like, okay, so this is where um, the ocean goddess stays. I said, where? She said she's in the river right now. I said, where? She said, oh, that this is where. So when the virgin comes with the calabash here, the priest collects it from the virgin and goes to the river to offer the sacrifice or the. Yeah, the sacrifice to the goddess. The goddess comes out of the river in form of half woman, half fish. No jokes. And like people legit see her, her devotees see her. Okay, so the, the woman comes out, collects the sacrifice from the calabash, yeah, and puts healing water into the calabash. Then the priest adds water to the calabash and they keep the water for the whole year till the next sacrifice. So that's like the healing water. So anywhere they're sick or whatever, this is out of that water and it works for them cause they believe. So this is how the whole goddess thing came up here. Yeah? So the Oshun people moved from, I can't remember what the name of the place was. So they moved and they wanted to come and settle in Oshun state. So while they were, I think, trying to clear the land or whatever, a tree fell into the water and broke the Oshun goddesses calabash. So she now came out and was like, ah, that they've broken her calabash. So for them to find peace, the, the, the agreement for peace to reign was that every August, the Oshun goddess devotees are going to come and make this sacrifice. Like the whole virgin carried the pot and everything that I just told you guys. Yeah, so that's how the whole Oshun goddess thing came about. The goddess was already, the, the Oshun goddess has been in the river on her own. JJ, these people that wanted to settle now came. Cut tree, the tree fell into the river, broke her calabash, so she came out and that was when she was talking to them. So for peace to reign, they have to do this whole virgin work. And for them to settle in Oshobo, they have to do the whole um, festival thing every year and just appease her and make her happy. So yeah, that's it. When we're done, when we're done with that, um, she took us to another place. Okay. Just so. <laughs> so she showed us where the king entertains like the governors and um the high high people when they come so we're at the what's this place called i don't know some bridge that was constructed by, by lord god like in 19 19 what? 35 1935 com commission no it was Commission in 1936, and the bridge is still here till now. A boy is that is, is a hanging bridge, so it shakes when you're walking. It's really interesting, and I don't know, man. I've learned so much today. <laughs> I took pictures at the bridge, you guys. So I really wanted to take a picture of the bridge shaking, cause while you're on the bridge, it swings. It's the craziest thing, you guys, and it's made of cement and iron. She said it has never fallen. They have never had to adjust it. Nothing that it has literally been there since 1935 you guys i kid you like i couldn't believe it that's me yeah. so the bridge is over the river where oshun stays So, uh, she said there's really nothing about the bridge, that it's just a pathway to use and cross the river. There's nothing, but I was so intrigued, you guys. So I thought that was the end of it. Nope. It looks like a dinosaur. Is on. So apparently, when you're entering, you have to bend, and then she showed us the um, sculpture, and the sculpture was of a chameleon. And apparently, back then, okay, no, till now, she said, um, so you know how chameleons change, it means that in life things happen 
situations change and like things might not always be the way you want them to be, but you have to accept them. So the statue is a tail, the tail of the chameleon up, and the tongue of the chameleon up as well. So this is what happens here. When they want it to rain, when it hasn't been raining in a while, they um, get the chameleon, put it on the floor, make sacrifices to the chameleon, and once it raises the tail, it rains and rains and, and it doesn't stop. And then when it wants to stop raining, they have to go and make more sacrifices and pray to the chameleon and all that. And you guys, she said, once the chameleon raises his tongue, the rain stops instantly. I really wanted to see it. I really wanted to see it. I wouldn't lie. I wanted to see it. But obviously, we couldn't see it because they did not want it to rain. It was not as in. We didn't come at the right time yet, so sure. Anyway, so so she goes and she shows us and that statue of um, of chicken pox. Yes, that's the punishment that the Oshun goddess. I mean, who? Was it the Oshun goddess? I don't remember. I'll get my story straight. If I don't get it straight, I'll definitely put like details in this video. So apparently when you disobey the goddess i think you get chicken pox measles all these things yeah and you have to go to that deity god of what chicken pox oh amazing okay we call it shopona in the yoruba shopona shopona this kind of this is she said the deity intercedes on on their behalf the people that have chicken box they come and beg the deity to beg the goddess to forgive them so when the goddess forgives them i mean so the deity now goes to go and appeal to the goddess i'll just this right here so we walk again for a while and then she shows a statue of the deity that they pray through and then from there we walk again through to another place to another um, statue and she shows us this witch her name was um i don't remember her name i'm going to have to go and do my research again so she was super tall she was a witch and um, she had three sets of hands hmm. and she the and told them that this witch has three pairs of hands that one that oh, was okay. uh, so she has three pairs of hands fam when i tell you i was freaked out i was freaked out <laughs> so one pair is like i have to put the picture for you guys to see so the three pairs represent blessing advice lesson blessing advice and lessons if you have a problem she gives you advice then if you actually take the advice it becomes a lesson for you and then, I, she, and then she gives you blessings so first of all i was like so you guys were not freaked out as in you guys are not freaked out by somebody that had three pairs of hands like what as in like, yeah and apparently this babe was like really tall so she used to help them and when there's war, when people are coming to come and fight against the Oshobo people, she will see them from. Oh, she's the tallest person, so she will see them from miles away. So when we're done with that, we um, we went to sign out. Apparently, we have to sign out. So we went to sign out, and um, we left with our bike, guys, and we came to our hotel. So we get to the hotel, and guess what? There's no light. <laughs> you guys almost died. So there was no light. But um, I don't remember what happened. I think the sun went to shower and then I had just laid down and I slept like a fool. I was supposed to go to the art center. It's right opposite. The, the hotel is right opposite the art center. So that's how we slept to like past six. And then um, right now the time is 8.01. Yeah, so we slept till, I don't know, I don't know. We slept till past six definitely or to seven. Then the sun went to get Amala and then we are here now anyway that's day one of our journey and tomorrow is going to be day two right now i want to eat my amala and go to bed so bye guys so, so just came through hot amala look at your so body you banging Woo. Woo. hi guys my name is Juso Ojakusa. i'm a travel blogger and a certified ajala oh, so <laughs> I went to I, <laughs> sure I to went get to food. Yeah, let's get food. So I went to some place called went to Olaya Drug Show. Wasn't that where we dropped? And then okay. I went to another Russia. I can't remember the word Russia. But I went to a place called Embassy. So apparently from the good people of Russia State, so that's like one of the best places to have Amala from. So I'm going to try the food though, hopefully. So she buy Amala for the girls, you know? Mm -hmm. <coughs> I hope it's what she after the hype. <laughs> Better